My name is Eric Smith. We're here at Middlebury, Indiana with Plant 310, Coachman Forest River. We are starting a series of quality assurance videos. We're going to start today with the slide out system. Going to run you through some uh, reprogramming, some basic checks for measurements, those sort of things that you can do visually. And then hopefully at the end of this, uh, if you do have any problems, we're going to walk you through how to get a good start on how to fix those problems. So just stay put and we'll walk you through it. All right, welcome inside the motorhome. Um, we're starting at the monitor panel now. This will be located in various positions throughout the motorhome, but the process is all the same if you have a power gear slim rack system. The, the design for programming this is slightly different if you're familiar with Schwintech systems, so pay close attention here. They're, they're similar, but definitely not the same. So when you initially come into the room, regardless of the position in or out, uh, you may find yourself having to run the room whatever the closest direction is and then you'll want to default back to this once you get the room squared up. So to program it properly you're going to want to bring the room all the way to the close position. I'm going to run it out here just a little bit so you can see the full motion. So returning the room to the end position you're going to want to stay on the button until the room comes to a complete stop. You may have heard a click right there I'm still holding the button down. Now at this point with a Schwintech, you would reverse the system again and then come back in. With this, all you're gonna to wanna to do is apply the direction again on the inward position, stay on it, and you will hear a click on the motors. Once that's performed properly, you will not see any mo uh, movement like we just did on the room. You won't see the room come in at all. And when you get that audible click, that means your end position is set. Upon that happening, you're going to reverse the room, run it to the out position. You may notice at this point that the room may not track straight. You may see one end lead. Um, you may have seen one end maybe take off ahead of the other. It might bog down you know, on its way out right here. Just stay with it. If it starts to get out of time on you a little bit because it's not programmed, simply let off the button and you can always just pulse it like this before the other motion or the other uh, motor disengages. So we're hitting on the back end right there, if you can see that. Staying on the button till I stop. Now I'm gonna reapply the out. And you can see I got movement on the rear motor there. That means that this wasn't quite right yet. We're gonna do that again. Staying on the button. Still getting movement, we're not there yet. One more time. going to hold the button down and I get a click without movement. Once you get that, then that means the out is set. When you reverse the direction, you should see that both ends of the slide room come in simultaneous, just like so. And that will complete the setting on the inside of the motorhome. So here we are back on the outside of the motorhome. A um, couple critical measurements that we're going to want to cover for you today. So the first one is the rack distance or to the column right here. You're gonna to wanna to go from the end wall to the outside edge of the column right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to start right below the gear rack on the top and bottom, post right here, and the measurement you're looking for is three and three quarter to this outside edge right here. Make sure you're not on top of any of the rubber. That'll throw it. There's also a trim piece in place right here that you're gonna to wanna to remove. Make sure you get an accurate measurement just in case that's not pushed right into the rack. So three and three quarter. There's an eighth inch tolerance on that. Uh, we don't want to push that very tight. We notice that as the rooms get a little bigger, um, they tend to do this in our motor homes. Uh, once they get a little bit bigger, the drag on the system uh, is already a little bit heavier because of the weight of the room. So we're going to want to make sure that we can limit that resistance as much as possible uh, by giving this room the amount of room that it actually needs to operate and perform properly. So three and three quarter from here to here, you're going to want to check that on all four corners of the room top and bottom. We're giving ourselves an eighth inch tolerance on that. It's a little less than what Lippers tell us that we can operate inside of. But if we have three and three quarter on this side of the room, anywhere on the other side, less than three and five eighths, um, then we're gonna wanna have some more room in that slide room. Same thing would go for cross cornered. We really are only looking for three and three quarter on one side and minimum of three and five eighths on the other side. The other measurement you're gonna wanna check is to the bottom of the mounting block right here from the bottom of the slide room to the bottom of this horseshoe right here should be three inches 
That's gonna make sure that when this goes in and out, that spec is designed to make sure that this gear rack tracks properly inside of the bearing block. So we won't uh, have any binding when this part right here, uh, the horseshoe actually goes inside of the sidewall. Also going to um, wanna make sure that this column is nice and straight right here. A uh, good level, a six foot level tends to work really, really well. That's what we use back at the plant. Uh, once you ensure that this three and three quarter measurement is in fact there, you're just gonna lay the level right here, follow it from top to bottom. If you see it bowing in and out, just uh, simply release the screws there in the middle, adjust it accordingly, um, and that should pretty much get you there. The rollers on the bottom of the room, you'll see there's, there's anywhere from five to 10, 12 rollers on the bottom of the slide room. Uh, you shouldn't see anything there, but you're gonna wanna make sure that those are setting right down on top of those properly to make sure that the rollers themselves are carrying the weight of the room and not the gear racks, that's not their intent. So we're gonna wanna make sure that the rollers are setting down. We also have rollers on the inside of the shack uh, that are mounted on the inboard side of the sidewall. They will come up actually and hit on the bottom of the slide out floor. Some people do those other ways. The way we do it is we mount the actual roller block to the main floor and then the rollers against the slide floor. Those are important that they're in the right location because they're still on the floor to support that weight when they come in. So we're not gonna wanna be moving those rollers around. If you see that one of those is gapping ever so slightly, uh, a little shim on the inside of that goes a long ways. Um, but please be careful about adding rollers in places that we don't already have them designed in. There are uh, some of our earlier units that we didn't have those rollers in. We have found uh, over the time of running these that those really go a long ways to help with the tip end of the room. Not that the room won't run, but it really helps with the sealing process when the room closes all the way up. It's uh, just a good counterbalance. It just moves that center of weight into the unit just a little bit more to control tip over. So thanks for joining us today. Um, this has been the first of a series of videos that we're gonna do. If you have any more questions, you can feel free to visit us on Facebook or on coachmanrv.com. Um, be happy to answer any questions that you have in regards to this. This system is specifically, or this video is specifically designed for our Coachman Class A's, but this video will apply to most uh, Slimerack systems. So thank you for joining us and we appreciate your business.